action. Life itself is this sprawling generational story that explores the sad and the happy and the beautiful about life, this weird thing we're all doing together. La vita ci imbroglia. Dipinge un uomo come un eroe quando potrebbe benissimo essere un cattivo. Un eroe o un cattivo? Un cattivo o un eroe? This is truly epic storytelling. He's unbelievably cinematic and he had a singular vision for this film. It's a movie showing how people deal with each other and the emotions that they carry throughout the years. I love the old adage, when in doubt, zoom out. And I feel like that's what this movie is urging us to do. Something about this movie got in my bones and I felt that I had to direct it. Promettimi che sarei a casa alle 11. Preferirei non mentirti. Per favore, mentimi. Sarò a casa alle 11. I honestly felt it was the most beautiful script I'd ever read. Dan's got an incredible gift to see how life really is. I refuse to read any of those books. Chris and Kyle. He was so willing to go where the scene took us. Ma sei incinta? <laughs> che sta succedendo qui? Sorpresa! He wrote it in a very specific way, and yet improvisations would take on new forms, and he would not only be open to it, he would encourage these kind of things. He's really in tune with the actor's process, but also with the technical side of the process, and I think that duality is really rare and really awesome in a director. Rodrigo! I think that we are in front of a great director. He created an environment uh, on the set that was magnificent. He's open, but at the same time, you can feel that he never loses the pulse. Sposiamoci. Will ci frequentiamo solo da un anno. Lo so. E ho dimostrato un incredibile autocontrollo aspettando tanto. Not afraid to harness in two hours what living a life feels like. So much of the beauty and so much of the cruelty. Of it.